It's Ebony Love, and today's video is going to focus on fabric waste that's generated as you use your AccuQuilt fabric die cutter. This video applies to the AccuQuilt Studio, the Go, and also Go Baby. Waste is really a funny question to me because waste is really in the eye of the operator. You have control over how you're going to place your fabric and how to make the most efficient use of what you have to make cuts. But I will go through a few scenarios and show you the different types of waste that generally get generated as you're cutting. First up, let's talk about the strip dies. Now, the strip dies are um, very long um, boards and they um, share common blades. So as you are cutting, you will not get waste in between the blades, but there's waste um, to either side of the um, strip cutter. Now, I don't consider anything that comes off of my um, off of my uh, fabric as waste. I save everything, and I'll show you a couple of projects where I've taken advantage of the things that um, the odd pieces that that come off. But when you're using the strip cutter, sometimes um, just in the way that you're using your fabric or the particular fabric that you have, you'll end up with these chunkier pieces um, that can be used for something else. So for me, if I get a piece um, that's, that's wide enough to cut additional strips, then that's typically what I, will, what I will do. I'll also sometimes, if I'm cutting squares, I'll get um, extra pieces that are also quite large um, that um, maybe these are, um, I was cutting uh, 10 inch squares yesterday and I ended up with these pieces which weren't quite 10 inches square. So these will also be cut down. The larger pieces of, of waste that I get, um, if they're big enough, I actually follow Bonnie Hunter's method, um, her scrap user system, which specifies um, how you can cut strips, squares, and bricks um, from, uh, from different sizes of fabric. I'll leave you her website address at the end of the video so you can look up that, um, that technique if you're interested. Other types of waste that you'll get from your strip dies tend to be these narrow strips that happen either from squaring up or from either side. These, this type of waste should not be unfamiliar to you as a quilter. When you're rotary cutting, you need to first square up your fabric before you start cutting strips. And this is essentially the type of waste that you're getting from the strip cutters is the, um, the edges of the pieces that need to be squared up. Um, this is, I cut um, four uh, yards of fabric yesterday into, um, actually I was cutting um, uh, strips, and this is the waste that I had from cutting four yards of fabric. So you can see that this really isn't um, uh, excess, an excessive amount of waste. It's about what you would expect um, from squaring off, and the, um, the other scenario, of course, when you're rotor cutting is if your ruler slips and uh, you cut um, a strip incorrectly, then you could actually waste a lot more fabric that way. Now, um, when, when I'm cutting um, and, and I get waste like this, sometimes I'll have wider pieces. So here's some examples of wider pieces. And typically anything that is uh, three quarters of an inch or um, uh, wider, so between three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half, is what I'll save for string quilts. So here's some examples. Uh, here's a square um, block that would go into a string quilt. And then here's another one which uses um, kite shapes. So this is also a string quilt um, or string block that where these, these pieces come in handy. Anything that is um, less than uh, three quarters of an inch I'll use for different um, uh, different scrap projects. So, for example, here is a um, uh, a little art piece that I did that will ultimately get framed, which uses some of those um, kind of narrower strips. And for doing art projects like this, it really for me the randomness is a lot uh, better. So, anything that's wide enough to to run my um, to run a piece of thread through my machine um, will actually get placed um, into these pieces. Other types of projects that lend themselves well to skinny strips are paper-pieced projects. So I have some examples here 
of some paper piece um, projects. And these are situations when you're doing these paper piece projects, and I'll put some pictures up on my website um, so you can see these a little bit closer, but these don't have to be um, as wide as three quarters of, of an inch um, because you're paper piecing, so the seams can be a lot smaller. So that's just um, some things that I do with, um, with those skinny strips. Other types of waste that you'll get are waste from uh, some of the classic die shapes. So things like the apple core, um, the, um, the tumbler, um, winding ways, drunkard's path, double wedding ring, those um, dies tend to leave really odd shaped pieces with notches cut into them and that type of thing. So here's some examples that I have of pieces. Um, so here's some pieces that were left from double wedding ring. So they're sort of squarish, but they've got little notches cut into them. Here's some pieces from winding ways. So there are these really strange triangular shaped pieces. Double wedding ring leaves curved pieces with notches. And the apple core gives you these uh, uh, half moon shaped pieces with a straight edge. Now again, for me, I do a lot of art projects, and so I'll incorporate those funny shaped pieces and cut them into even funnier shaped pieces and put them into um, a piece of, of art. Sometimes you'll also get partial shapes. So here's an example of where I was cutting um, from a circle die and it, this piece um, wasn't wide enough to cut the full circle so there's a little moon cut out of it. And something like that would also get incorporated into an art piece. So those are just some examples that I have of things to do with, um, with your waste. I actually have bins for different types of waste so this um, this bin has uh, smaller cuttings that lend themselves well to um, smaller art pieces. Um, this bin has uh, some larger pieces that are um, that are oddly shaped but still could be um, cut down. This is something that uh, if I wanted to put this piece over an applique die, say the small um, flower, I could probably get about four small flowers out of this or it might fit onto one of the circle dies. So that's another um, tip for you is that if you have pieces that are big enough to fit onto an applique die, then um, go ahead and use those pieces for that. And then finally, if, um, if you're not like me and don't save every single piece of, of scrap that comes off of your table, um, the other option is to check with your local animal shelters and see if they will take donated pet beds. Um, so I'll uh, post some links to some instructions where you can make um, homemade pet beds and then stuff them with scraps of fabric and batting that are left over from your um, trimming your projects. So at the end of the day, nothing's really wasted um, unless you choose to, to waste it. So go ahead and uh, think about making some art pieces or making some pet beds for a shelter and uh, have a good time quilting. Thanks a lot. Happy quilting.